I call my mother every Monday night, and every year at about this time, we have the same ritual discussion where she asks me whether I'm going to send out Christmas cards. Because beginning with her parents, my grandparents, it was a major undertaking. They had a table they set up just for that purpose, and it became an assembly line. They sent out hundreds of Christmas cards. My parents still send out dozens of Christmas cards, although they now have someone who comes and helps them a little bit. Uh, and she always asks me every year, are you going to send out Christmas cards? And every year I say, no, a long time ago I came to realize that when you become ordained, there's certain things you just can't do in December, or at least I can't. I won't speak for the other ordained people in the room what you may do, but it's just not on my list. You agree? Oh, yeah, yes. I, I thought sometimes maybe I would do St. Patrick's Day cards or something. I don't know. There's got to be something that doesn't involve the clergy in December because it's just not a good time for it. And it, because th aside from that, it is a season of, of extravagance and, and excess in all possible ways, in, in food and in gifts and in the way that we commit our time. It's, it's a season that, that can feel like it's too much. I mean, I, I won't tell you what I've already done this week. I felt like I have run from one thing to the next all week since Monday morning, and yet I still haven't gotten everything done that I planned to do this week. And it's only going to get worse next week, and God help us, the week after when we're coming right up to Christmas. So I think it is helpful to me. I will preach to myself, and you all can take whatever away from it may be useful to you to have the Feast of St. Nicholas at the beginning of the crazy season and to have a model of simple charity, simple giving, simple good works as a reminder that it doesn't have to be extravagant. I mean, the thing that we know St. Nicholas for probably the most was that he, by legend, threw bags of money through the windows of houses so that the, the young daughters of those houses would have dowries for their weddings and wouldn't have to... I, I, the expression is it's in the... There's a, there's a polite way they put it in the, the uh, lesser feasts and fasts so that they would not be destitute or something. In reality, it was so they wouldn't have to go into prostitution in order to support themselves. Let's be honest, that, that was the state of women at the time. But the key is that St. Nicholas did this anonymously. It, it, the theory is he threw the money through the window so no one would know who did it. And coming down in history, that has turned into the tradition in various cultures of the little gifts that are given on St. Nicholas Day. Growing up, growing up, we lived in Germany for a while, and we did it. We put our shoes out by the fireplace, and in the morning there were the chocolate coins wrapped in gold and an orange and other little stuff. Nothing very big, nothing very elaborate, but it was really exciting to wake up on St. Nicholas Day and find that something had happened in my shoe that didn't involve a cat in front of the fireplace. <laughs> how simple that is, and yet how, how lovely it is that it's not the $1,000 iPhone or the cashmere sweater or whatever else we imagine we have to get for someone else to prove that we love them. How simple it is to express our love for one another. What a lovely reading it is from 1 John. I have not internalized that enough until now. I recommend we go back and read that over and over again. We love one another. And the love can be simple as long as it's genuine. What a great way to start the Christmas season with a reminder that perhaps saying I love you is the best gift we can give someone else. Let's practice that. Start today. Don't wait till the 24th of December. There's no need to wait. And even though it's already past the morning of St. Nicholas Day, you know, give a simple gift today to someone. A simple, I, I care about you, I love you, I wonder about you, I worry about you, I'm praying for you. It's sometimes all that it takes. Let us remember St. Nicholas, the simple gift, the love of God that he showed and that each one of us is also called to show. Amen.